Round one of the JLT Community Series and footy fans around the nation are finally able to get their footy itch scratched. Hello, I'm Dennis Cometti. Good to be back in Launceston. Well, the heat here is unrelenting. Look at that steam coming off the ground. The Suns look tense as they shuffle onto the field. I can't wait for this encounter to begin, and I think the crowd would agree with me too. They're on the edge of their seats. And here we go. To uncover your true potential, you must first find your own limits, and then you've got to have the courage to blow past them. He gets tackled as he hands it off. Takes that one strongly. Gets boot to leather. He sneaks away for an uncontested mark. Lining up the goal now. Roost going for number one. Roost scores with a beautiful kick. That's his first. Hawthorne get a goal on the board first. The Rucks prepare to go at it for this bounce. Bounce goes the ball. Good tap from McAvoy. Whack. Have that, mate. Gets a handball away. As Darren Hinch would say, shame, shame, shame. Burgoyne will hear about that kick later. And the ball goes sailing out of bounds. Riscatelli puts the ball in the hands of fate. Sexton puts it on the boot. Takes that one strongly. Saad with no time to delay with that kick. Richo, do you rate him for this kick? I don't know if he'll make the distance here, Dennis. He'll need his Saturday or Sunday best from here. Ruffhead got under it. As cool as a prize marrow as he lines up for this shot. Ruffett steers the ball towards goal. Ruffett with a great kick. That's his first. The Hawks have scored the last two goals. The Suns is risking falling too far behind way too early. That replay shows just how good that goal was. All is in readiness. The bounce laser straight. Guided by Nichols. Runs into a tackle. The ball bounced to the advantage of the opposition. Wits having no trouble taking that one. It's no wonder the Suns were falling behind with a marking count like that. If they don't start getting into the contest and start taking some marks, this game will be lost for them. That's a mark. Going for goal number one. The Suns have one to their tally. The Suns have their first goal. You can feel the intensity build as both Ruckman prepare for the bounce. McAvoy directs it down. That'll be a free for a push. Kicks. Nichols has a great set of hands. Fantastic mark. Bumps the pigskin. Lynch gets the upper hand. Lynch feeds it wide. And the mark will be paid. Jams it on the boot now. And the ball crosses over the boundary. You can see the determination on the Ruckman's faces. McAvoy with the punch. He controls the bouncing ball. Omar it pummels him. The ball kept alive. Rose it with the kick. Out of bounds in the pocket. The umpires with a good throw. McAvoy gets onto the ball. Mitchell throws it. Clear as day. Paul just gauging which way that wind is blowing. 50 metres from home. A 45 degree angle for this kick. That's two in a row for the Suns. Only the smallest of margins in it now. Paul just has endless possibilities. I'm really excited to watch this kid grow. The bounce. Laser straight. First hand's important. Sicily gathers it. 
McAvoy pulls the trigger with the ball sailing for goal. They like rare goal, the super goal. Nine points. Hawthorne in front. I've got to say, that's even a better goal the second time around. Umpire has the ball, ready for the centre bounce. McAvoy gets onto the ball, make on the ball at the moment. The ball being picked up before it makes its target. He picks up the loose ball. Hanley looking like a Manchester United player. Witz hand passes it, gets a handball away. Really butchered that kick, didn't he, Richard? That was an absolute shocker. Just one minute to go. Lovely hand pass hits the man. Riscatelli hand passes to space and hopes for the best. He picks it up. He gets another possession. Sexton boots it. Great grab. Saad trimming the grass with that kick. Hanley gets the upper hand. No questioning whether the Suns can take a mark. I think everyone has seen enough cheap marks taken out there. Gold Coast need to start kicking more direct for goal. He doesn't want to take too long lining this shot up. The ball's travelling. He could not have kicked that any better. The Ruckman giving each other the ice-cold killer stare-downs as they wait for the bounce. Witz wins the tap. Terrible timing by Ziegler. Lemons. Kicks. Saad, the better man there. When you look at the set shots at goal, there just aren't enough scoring opportunities being created. Get the ball inside 50 and give your forwards a chance to mark. If the Suns' forwards are dangerous anywhere inside 50, they just need to be given a shot. A brief moment of serenity before the ball is bounced and the Ruckman unleash. Ziegler got a fist on it. A favourable bounce. Mitchell comes away with the ball. A lot of possessions for him. The umpire will ball it up. Ziegler with the punch. Let's take a brief look at the stats. Both teams fairly close in the handball stats. Eight to three. Not a lot of difference in the tackling stats. Gold Coast is slightly ahead with 11 to six. You always have that unique perspective on things, Richo. And we're back for the second turn. The winners in life constantly think in terms of I can, I will, and I am. Barlow feeling the pressure, gets the quick kick away. Hits the running man. Gathered by Gibson. Hand passes. Chips it down towards half forward. A great effort. Gunston going through his routine. Unfortunately, they made the grass very short tactically this week. Richo, you followed his career for a while. Can he kick this? He's a fair way out, Dennis. It'll test him. This will have to be his very best kick to score from this range. Sicily hammers the ball for goal. Nice work from Sicily. The Hawks by 15 points. Both Ruckman have their eyes on the ball. The bounce is dead straight. Tapped by McAvoy, Sicily. With clean hands for a difficult bouncing ball. Finding the running player. The loose ball picked up. He hand passes the ball. Nicely intercepted by Riscatelli. The bouncing ball is controlled. Finding the running player. He takes control of the loose ball. Make was taken high. Kicks it. Wins the hard ball. Jams it on the boot now. The contest, no match for him. Kicked in a flurry. He wins the contest. Gold Coast have taken plenty of marks, but they haven't converted enough into goals. That's why they find themselves trailing. Hodge puts his boot on it. That's a mark. He kicks the ball. The mark will be paid. Lynch kicks. Good mark by Rosa. He sneaks away for an uncontested mark. Impey gets the upper hand. 
Surely that wasn't the plan, Richard. That's just a waste of a kick there. Time drying up with only two minutes to go. We'll have a throw in. A lot of jostling as the boundary umpire puts the ball back into play. Slips the handball to Shields. He's got the head down as he charges home for goal. That's two in a row for Hawthorne. Hawthorne with a healthy gap on the scoreboard, leading the Suns 39 to 18. Bruce is pretty handy around goal. He just has that sixth sense of knowing where the goals are at all times. I've got to say, that's even a better goal the second time around. The bounce straight down. McAvoy is just a real workhorse in the ruck, and I reckon his teammates really appreciate his uncomplicated approach to the game. Day marks the ball. He boots it. He marks the ball. Lynch puts his boot on it. The ball being picked up before it makes its target. Lyons has finally come off, and he's heaving like a crazed tuba player. Time drying up with only 90 seconds to go. Make tries his luck along the ground. Nichols runs past and gets the ball. He gets the hand pass. Witz kicks. Takes it well. Works it across the ground. Nice hands. Lemons sends the ball on its way. As cool as a prize marrow as he lines up for this shot. He'll need a long-range boomer from here. Saad going for number one. All eyes are watching. Kicks Goldwood, but it won't have the desired outcome. Not enough help gained from that kick. Stratton has got good knowledge of the game, and he can see the events unfolding in front of him, but he just needs to react a little faster. Ball up in the centre square. Hit by McAvoy. Puapolo keeps it alive with the foot. May picks up the loose ball. Picked up by Hanley. Hartung picks up the loose ball. Harbro picks it up. He gains possession. The ball in the hands of Bimpy. Sexton gathers it. Nichols dishes it off to the running man. Shot by Gunston. Score for Hawthorne. Gunston kicks his first. The Hawks have scored the last three goals. The Hawks lead Gold Coast by 26. Gunston has shown a lot of character with his recent performances. The replay capturing everyone's attention. What a goal. The Hawks have just been so dominant in the ruck and that's been able to give their midfielders so much time and space and that's why they lead this match. That's a massive goal. Nine points. The Hawks are over. The Suns. The umpire set to bounce to restart the game. The half is almost over. Batted down nicely by McAvoy with the ball now. Cleanly picked up. He's got the footy in his hands. He gets the hand pass. Nichols soccers it. Gets the loose ball. Rosett feeds it wide. He has space for an easy mark. There's been a lot to enjoy in the second quarter. The scores are the Hawks, 54, Gold Coast, 19. Part of the reason why Hawthorne, it's a really even strong squad at halftime. Gold Coast are tired and the competitive edge isn't there. Richo, now with his stats. Well, the scoreboard says they're winning, but you wouldn't have thought so looking at those stats. Enlightening, Richo. An interesting first half. Let's see how the third quarter pans out when we return from our halftime break. The third term is underway. If you have everything under control, you're not moving fast enough. The umpire will give us another ball up. Hit by McAvoy. The ball in the hands of Burgoyne. Steady hands there as he holds that one. Perspiring like a pudding in a pot as he lines the shot up. 50 metres from home. Close call, but it's just made it for a score. Roost gets his third. The Ruckman, conscious of where their teammates are, they wait for the bounce. Huge leap, Sicily gathers it. Burgoyne throws it, clear as day. Lyons sends the ball on its way. The mark is taken by Lynch. Well, the Suns haven't been able to set up many shots at goal, but I'm not sure that's the Ford's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect your Ford to kick a winning total that way. Matera boots it. Lonergan marks it. 
They need a goal to keep that door ajar. Lonigan goes goalward. It's true. He's bagged a couple now. Gold Coast are really being punished. The Ruckman steal themselves before the bounce. The ball has been bounced. Hit by McAvoy. Sicily bumps. She's running hot, Richo. He's using the ball superbly, Dennis. With a burst of speed, Riscatelli picks up the loose ball. Nicely intercepted by Roughhead. Mate intercepts it. The ball came out of the pack like a wet salmon. Kicks it. Stuck the mitts out and held onto it. Sends it on its way. Lemons claims the ball. Get some power behind that one. Taken by Langford. Langford has to stay committed. Then with a little bit of guts and determination, he should make something of his career. The mark will be paid. He gets boot to the ball. He wins the contested mark. There's a vast chasm between him and the goals ahead. Give him a wrap and they'll let you down every time. You're right, Dennis. That is a letdown. Slams it on the boot. Marked by Wits. Sends it on its way. Lemons wins the marking contest. 45 metres out. He's on a 30 degree angle. Lemons steers the ball towards goal. We owe some gratitude to these guys. They breathed some life into a corpse which had nearly expired. Huge leap. Paul gets it on the bounce. Mitchell gets the ball. Approaching the goals now. Has it got the carry? He sends it home for a super goal. Hawthorne with a healthy gap on the scoreboard, leading Gold Coast 69 to 32. Both Ruckman have their eyes on the ball. More bounce than a dodgy check. Claimed by McAvoy, Sicily. Comes in like a wrecking ball. Burgoyne running in, about to kick. He's driven that ball hard, but it's a miss. Hawthorne with a handy break, leading the Suns 70 to 32. Sexton with the mark. Sexton seems like he's enjoying his footy. I think he's going to be around for a long time. Impey getting into position for the kick. Impey has a kick. He slams that on the boot. Burgoyne intercepts it. Burgoyne getting into position for the kick. The ball is hammered towards goal by Burgoyne. Goal to the Hawks. That's two in a row for the Hawks. The Hawks with the upper hand in this match. And it shows on the scoreboard, leading 76 to 32. The umpire set to bounce to restart the game. McAvoy gets onto the ball. Sicily throws the ball. Free kick. Kicked by Rosa. Marked by Nichols. Kicks. And the mark will be paid. Kicks it. Strong mark by Collar Jasney. They really need a goal on the board now. Goal for Collar Jasney. Gold Coast fans will beat the traffic home today. The umpire set to bounce to restart the game. Nichols punches it. Shields delivers a nice bump for Lynch. Approaching the goals now. Stuck the mitts out and held on to it. Kicks it across the ground. Great mark. Miller's got all the makings required to become a great servant of this football club. I reckon he could become a 200 game player. Day kicks the ball. That's a mark. He boots it. Strong mark. Omara kicks to the lead, ill-directed though. Hanley alone for the uncontested mark. That was an interesting term right there. Your thoughts, Richo? Hawthorne will be looking to close out this match ruthlessly and get a healthy percentage boost in the process. Lots of points scored during that third term. Time to check those stats. The Suns and Hawthorne are close in handballs. Neither team appears to have a distinct advantage. Uh, that's a unique spin on things, Richo. It's time for the final quarter. Pain is temporary. It may last a minute, an hour, or a day, or a year. But eventually it will subside and something else will take its place. If you quit, however, it will last forever. He intercepts the ball on the bounce. Smith with the ball. He lines it up with the goal. 
really butchered that kick, didn't he, Richard? If you're going to kick that poorly, you may as well just give the ball straight back to the opposition. Picture-perfect drop punt. Solid as a rock, and he comes away with a lovely contested mark. And the mark will be paid. Kicked by Nichols. The ball spills to Matera. Dances around the boundary line. Jams it on the boot. Lemons picks it up. He's got the footy in his hands. A clean pickup. Gains possession. The ball mopped up. Stratton has so much potential. He could just be anything. McAvoy with the spoil. Matera slams the ball to his boot. Nichols puts it through. A brief moment of serenity before the ball is bounced and the Ruckman unleash. Clean tap by McAvoy. Charged down by May. He's got the footy in his hands. Ball up in the centre square. McAvoy is really good at getting up in the ruck, but his directional taps need some more work. Day with the football. He's brought down and the ball is spilled. He hand passes it. Sicily. Again, Richard. He seems to always be in the contest, Dennis. It's impossible to outplay an opponent. You can't outthink. Think about that. Well, you've kicked a few in your time. Do you give him much of a chance from here, Richard? Most players at this level shouldn't have any trouble with this conversion. It looks like Hawthorne have this one in the bag. Umpire has the ball, ready for the centre bounce. McAvoy directs it down. Mitchell collects it. He gets his hands on the footy. Wow, what a nose for those loose balls. Bruce crunched by Harborough. Ruffhead goes back to collect the ball. A free kick and several to Ruffhead in no hurry as he prepares for the kick. Ruffhead drives the ball towards goal. Ruffhead with the goal. This kick stretches the lead. That's two in a row for Cawthorn. That could be the final nail in the coffin. Umpire has the ball, ready for the centre bounce. Hit by McAvoy, gathers the ball. There'll be a ball up in the centre square. Cleared by McAvoy. Lynch picks up the loose ball. Sicily comes away with the ball, finding the running player. That ball is becoming a yo-yo for him. It keeps coming back. Clean pick up by Sexton. He gets tackled as he hands it off. He grabs it on the run. He just can't get out of the action. He's taken the ball over the line. McAvoy with the mighty fist. Umpire not having a bar of that and signaling for a ball up. McAvoy punches it. Ruffhead goes back to collect the ball. A free kick and several ticks. Ruffhead urged on by the crowd. Prepares to kick. Miss for behind. That could be the final nail in the coffin. A great effort. Well, the quality of disposal has been pretty soft out there, and that's enabled the Suns to rack up the marks. Gold Coast need to cut out these junk possessions and become more attacking. He wins the contested mark. Ablett with the kick. A great mark under pressure. Wits puts his boot on it. It's a mark. Gets the loose ball. He's got the footy in his hands. He's really a ball magnet. Lemons has a great set of hands. Fantastic mark. He claims the ball. Matera getting into position for the kick. Puts boot to ball. Has he? Yes, he's paid it. Sends it on its way. Gibson marks. Sends the Sharon on its way. Marks. No questioning whether Gold Coast can take a mark. I think everyone has seen enough cheap marks taken out there. Gold Coast need to start kicking more direct for goal. O'Meara with the kick. The ball has been grabbed on the bounce. Gunston finds the handball. He heads into home. Hit the post. That's a behind. Riscatelic waiting for his teammates to break. They're using the Tokyo subway play. Puts boot to ball. What a great start to the football year for the Hawks. It's a fantastic start to the year, Dennis, and I think they'll be able to use this as a platform to really launch into the home and away season. Richo, any last-minute thoughts? Well, they got into a situation where they were a few goals down and all of a sudden the players lost faith and thought, why bother? It was like they decided that the scoreboard damage was too much and that they couldn't handle it any longer, so just gave up. 
The whole team switched off and that's why this turned out. Final scores are 90 to 44. Well, that's all we have time for. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, Richard. Thanks, Dennis. I've enjoyed every minute of it. Until next time, goodbye.